Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about personal development, self-growth. These are five things that have really, really helped me with my personal growth and my personal development. If you really want to cultivate self-growth in your life, you really have to have a plan. It just doesn't happen. You know, when we're kids and we're carefree, we think we have it all figured out. Like, we have life figured out, we know everything. And then we grow up and we are like, oh my gosh, I have so much to learn. This is just normal, this is natural. If you don't feel this, then, well, I think that if you don't feel this and you think you have it all figured out, you might wanna think again. <laughs> nobody has it all figured out and nobody ever will. And actually that's something that I really admire about anybody is when they can actually say, man, I have a lot of growing to do. To show that you are still wanting to grow, change and evolve, that is the most amazing thing ever. And I love, love seeing that in people, like especially adults. It's a very attractive quality. Okay, so number one is be honest with yourself. Before you start working on yourself, you need to really be honest. Figure out what areas of your life really do need improvement or a little TLC. Like what are your strengths, your weaknesses, your goals. Jot it all down on a piece of paper and like brainstorm and just kind of figure out what your vision is. If you really can't figure it out or you don't know, ask someone close to you. Ask someone that's gonna be totally honest with you and vulnerable and someone who isn't just going to like inflate your head. <laughs> Number two is change your surroundings. I've spoken about this before, but if you're feeling in a rut, it's really, really good to step outside of your current situation, maybe go travel, take a nice weekend, clear your head, so that you can kind of get a better picture of maybe what you want, what you need. Because when you're in a situation day in and day out, sometimes your mind can just get very, very cloudy. And it's really good just to kind of give yourself that freedom to be able to have clarity for yourself. Okay, number three is commit to being healthy. Whatever it is, whatever your practice is, if is it going to the gym, is it going to Pilates, is it walking and meditating? Some people don't like exercise at all. That's okay, I can't change your mind about that. If you don't like exercise, walking is great. You can always go try to walk, that's good for you. Brainstorm your goals while you're walking so you get your exercise and your brainstorming done at the same time. <laughs> Number four, be open-minded, stay curious. Do things that you wouldn't have done before. It doesn't have to be some monumental travel trip or something that costs a lot of money. But even if you just switch it up in your day and you go to a different coffee shop, you never know who you're gonna run into, who you're gonna meet, or what you'll even learn. So stay open-minded. But if you are willing to step, step out of your comfort zone and do something amazing and different, then go try a painting class. A ballroom dancing class, skydiving, a cooking class. These are all things that I've done and I absolutely love them all. Read books, volunteer. There's so many things that you can try that'll just open your mind and when you start opening your mind, new doors will open for you. Number five is write lists. Now when I was younger, I didn't have to do this. I got so much done and it was great. But the thing is, is that now looking back, I really feel like if I wrote lists before, I would have gotten way more done. And it's totally true, I would have. Now I write lists. And another reason I do write lists is because I love to see a visual of what I'm doing. Checking it off and I feel accomplished. So it's like a visual for your mind and you just feel so good. You're like, oh, I did that, yes, check. Mm. Moving on to the next. Without putting your ideas in writing, it's really hard to lose focus or lose track of your progress. Life is hard enough and it can be really easy to lose track of the things that we really do need to do to grow within ourselves. It can be easy to ignore those things. So when we write things down, then we have a visual and we're able to kind of keep ourselves accountable in a way, which is really, really important. Personal growth requires continuous effort 
And one thing about life is it's ever changing. It's always, always changing. So we need to be able to grow with the change. Never feel like you're trying to be someone that you're not because you are trying to grow with the change of life. That is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be doing new things, trying new things. It opens new doors for our lives. Another cool thing is once you commit to personal growth for yourself, you might actually find that personal relationships, friends, family, work, actually become happier and healthier because you are being happier and healthier and growing within yourself. So remember, change doesn't happen overnight and it certainly doesn't happen if we don't start moving. Believe in yourself, put one foot in front of the other, and I promise you, you will see results. I hope this video helped you guys and comment below if you have any questions or tell me what you have done in the past month, week, day for your personal growth. I would love to hear. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.